bitching about the heat all summer long. But big scouts are, don't bitch. Big scouts take bad information and they make something good out of it. So I'm going to make chocolate chip cookies in the cars on the dashboards. Uh, and we talk about our cars being hot as ovens, and I'm going to actually see if it's possible. Uh, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cool roll of Nestle's. I'm going to put it on these two pans, and then we're going to go out to the cars, and we're going to put them in, test the temperature of the dashboards right now, and then see how long it takes, and if we can, in fact, bake cookies. So we've got the cookies now on two pans. I put 11 cookies on each, and I could have gotten 12, uh, but the truth is I want to save a little cold, raw cookie dough for myself. And now we will take them out to the cars. This is Jean again, and I'm sitting inside the Geo Prism, which is our old car, but it's a black interior, and I've been letting it sit in the sun most of the day. I've, uh, I've put a kitchen thermometer uh, onto the dashboard, and this is a little hard to see, but it is currently registering 198 degrees. Don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, inside the car on the dashboard. So it may be hot enough to cook some cookies, bake some cookies. Let's find out. There you have it. They are chocolate chip cookies waiting to be baked inside the Geo Prism. Uh, and we're going to time it and test it and come back and see if there's anything worth eating here. And right now I'm sitting in the Honda, the Honda Civic, uh, which was driven around a little today and cooled off. So I'm not entirely sure that it plus the tinted windows will, will be quite as hot as the Geo Prism. But again, I've put the thermometer onto the dashboard and it is currently registering, uh, hard to see, Let's see if I can get it, 166 degrees, 167, 167 degrees, hard to see. So we'll see. Uh, over time, I have a feeling, oh, just went up to 168. So I have a feeling the temperature's only gonna get hotter in here. Okay, <laughs> let's put some cookies in and bake. And here we go, here's some cookies in the Honda Civic on the dashboard, seeing if we can cook them up. Normally, when you bake Toll House cookies in an oven, it takes about 11 or 12 minutes. But we're not sure how long it's gonna take since we're not at 350 degrees, thankfully. It's now five, uh, 10 minutes of 4 in the afternoon. We're going to check it every 30 minutes. I'll take some photos along the way and see how we do. So far, so good. It's been about an hour, and uh, these are the cookies in the Honda. Uh, I expect that, with, that it's possible we may run into some shadows with some trees. But I think I may have calculated all, all right so that this actually stays in the sun as long as it takes to uh, to bake. Now, as you can see, they look kind of melty and gooey. And what you're not going to see is you're never going to see them turn brown. And that's because without the heat of the oven, the sugar won't caramelize, which is what gives the cookie the brown color. That doesn't mean they're, gonna, they're not going to get done. It just means that they won't look brown. So at some point, I'm going to have to open this door and just touch them to see how they're doing. But I don't think they're ready yet. Here are the cookies in the Geo, which is the hotter car. I think they're actually probably cooking more quickly, but the problem is I see shadows starting to creep up over this, and uh, I think in a few minutes I'm going to have to move the car just back into the sun. It's going to cool off the inside of the oven, so to speak, uh, but I think I'm going to have to do that in order to make sure that sun stays on these cookies. Okay, we're back at the Honda, and it's been two hours now, and I'm having a feeling that these things are probably baked. They look actually pretty good. I'm going to try one in just a minute. Okay, I'm in the car now, and I'm going to actually uh, poke these babies. Oh, my God. It's a little so... Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Not quite done. I think it might be like another hour or so. Man, that's getting close. That's, that's real cookie right there. Okay, keep cooking. I'm going to check the Geo Prism car. Okay, I'm in the Geo right now, and I have a feeling, based on the touch, that these are just... These are done a little bit more. Um, I think these are really ready to take inside and let them cool out. They are so hot. Yep, yeah, these are done. I'm taking these car, uh, these cookies in. It's been two hours. We're gonna have cookies in just a minute. And um, we're gonna let the Honda cookies cook a little more. <laughs> I am back in the Honda, and uh, I think these cookies are pretty much ready to go. Um, 
sure they they're they're gonna be nice and soft they're gonna be nice soft cookies yes they're done let's take them in let these cool and let's compare the cookies hi so we have actually baked our cookies in the ovens and i'm going to do a little quick taste test and comparison uh these are the honda civic cookies both batches are nice and soft which is how i know i certainly prefer my cookies um and we're going to taste that actually really, really good. Mix that up with a little soft vanilla ice cream, that'd be just incredibly good. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect texture. Now, let's try one from the, um, from the prism, which cooked faster. These were two hours, these were two and a half. Identical. These just cooked a little faster, but we took both batches out in time for them to be still soft and chewy and not crunchy. So, as long as your car is hot as blazes and it's 100 degrees, then I think it's a perfectly acceptable way to cook your cookies and make use of nature's solar power. There you go.